Hey YouTube, Chris here with Almost Precision. Tonight I'm hanging out at the bench doing some brass prep on some 9mm. Got a bag full of spent cases here from the last time I went to the range. And right now I'm just popping the primers out. This is my first step. Before I even clean them, I go ahead and decap them. Using the uh, Lee Universal Decapping Die. So no case lube needing or anything. It's literally just a center punch. Pop the primers out. Kind of slow and tedious, but when I do clean them, all I have right now is this ultrasonic cleaner and getting the primers out first goes a long way. So I'm just filling up the tray right now in the ultrasonic cleaner and once it gets full I'll go ahead and fill it up and turn it on. I'll probably keep depriming and just get a Tupperware or something to keep putting the brass into. Things kind of small. If y'all haven't noticed the trend yet in my videos, I usually pick up stuff on a good deal, a clearance sale or whatever. and. This ultrasonic cleaner is no different. Got it for 15 bucks on clearance at Bass Pro a little while back. Fast to clean, takes a little more time than your typical rotary or vibrator tumbler. Because you gotta let it dry. Literally you can run this thing for five minutes and all the cases will be clean but you can't reload a wet case so drying it is the time consuming part and I'm not going to go buy a dehydrator just to dry out brass so let's be real those brass dryers are just glorified rebranded dehydrators that they'll sell you for a huge markup because they got RCBS on the name tape. So I'll just put these in a pan and let them air dry. But even if I did have a vibrating or rotary tumbler. I think I'd still decap beforehand anyways. I know before when I was using somebody else's, it just helps keep the media clean. Clean-er, I should say. Helps keep your dyes cleaner. It's another thing. got some pretty old 38 special reloading dies second hand of course and uh, they were so gunked up just to be capping die really was extremely gunked up and it just happens, running cases through, fresh out of the tumbler, still coated in uh, whatever powder. Hey, there's a 40 case in here. I don't have a 40. <laughs> Guess I'll start a collection.
gotta say, this is about the most tedious thing on a single stage press. But in a way, I guess the monotony is pretty calming. Leaves me with my thoughts when I'm not talking to y'all. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll just fast forward through all this, all my rambling. Hmm. That's an odd one. WMA 9mm 15 NATO. Military ammo with a crimp primer. I'll have to watch out for that. When I do go to reprime it, I'll ream it out or something. I just felt it. It felt a little stiff on the decapping pen. Man, somebody next to me must have been shooting all this military NATO whatever brass. Got more of it than I expected. That's going to be annoying. Oh, it's about full. So let me uh, bring you guys in and show you the next step here. All right, so you can see, filled this little ultrasonic cleaner up pretty good. Next is to fill it with some distilled water. You really do need to use distilled. I mean, it's a dollar a gallon. Go to the baby food aisle and pick some up. Ain't gonna kill you. Make sure all the brass is submerged. I spent the bucks, got the name brand, the Lyman Turbosonic Cleaner Fluid. I'm supposed to use about an ounce of it in here. There's plenty of homebrew concoctions. You don't have to do this. You don't have to buy this. I've heard of people using stuff as easy as dish soap or whatever. I don't know. Google it. Find some other YouTube videos about folks doing it. You see I have this thing set to 8 minutes right now. That should be way more than enough time. So we'll get it started and I'll talk to you guys in a few. All right. Well, it finished. Let's take a look. Definitely cleaner. So I brought some other stuff out. Grabbed a Tupperware for the rinse. Pull you guys out here.
so from here it's pretty straightforward. Got a Wash the soap off. Make a little mess, you know. It's all good. Set them up to dry. So if you guys come in here, you can see all the dirt that came out. Not too much. It's nine mil after all, but got the dirt out of the cases. Clean the primer pockets. Not too bad. And I'll just leave these out here overnight, maybe a day. We'll see how they look tomorrow afternoon. But yeah, that's about it. That's the first step in brass prepping for me. Hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, this was Chris with Almost Precision. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all later.